So uh, what's your thoughts on Drill getting all this bad press linked to violence? Um, you know what it is? I understand it. I fully understand it. I see why people do think like why obviously Drill promotes a lot of violence. Obviously you've got man's talking about union this, union that, packing this, packing that, smoking dead homies and all this stuff. It's all crazy and that you get and I understand that. What I say is with my jaw, I don't really promote violence and stuff. Like if you listen to my tunes and that, I don't really, I'm not telling you to go out there and do mad stuff and that, you get me? But I'm a, I'm a small percentage of that that's doing that, innit? So overall, it jaw, obviously, yeah, people like say it's violent and that. I do agree, like, you know what I mean? But it's each to their own and how you take it and stuff, do you know what I mean? Because they put films out there for kids to watch and stuff, you know what I mean? From day dot as well. Yeah, <laughs> been influenced by a film, do you know what I'm trying to say? Not like sticking up and saying, nah, you know what I mean? Because a lot of Joe does like promote a lot of people to do that, do you know what I mean? It's even been reported like in news, like, oh, this guy went out and done this because he was gassed up by a certain song, do you know what I'm trying to say? So I do see why people do it, like, in, like try to go against it and that. But I think that's why I started to do, Joe, to try to do it in like a positive way, like the music to show you, it's like, yo, yo, my man's rapping, but it's not rapping crud, do you get what I'm trying to say? Because a lot of people think you gotta like rap about knives and guns to look cool and that, do you get me? My thing is like, if you can listen to me and you can hear what I'm saying, you think I'm cold and you rate what I'm doing and you can see me getting a bit of recognition here and there, then you can do it as well, do you know what I'm saying? Try and break the mold. Yeah, and break, set a trend, you get set me? Set a trend. Do you get me? Like, cool, you don't have to always keep doing violence and that. Like, start making, I know, even like, say for like, what's the word, like, positive message more cooler, you get what I'm trying to say? That's what I'm trying to do, you get it? Instead of making it all negative and that, do you get me? So that's my message to the kids, isn't it? So if you're listening to Joe and you're trying to pick up knives and guns and all that stuff, you already know you're going to be in a couple of years and that's in jail or something or dead, innit? So don't disappoint your parents and that, you get me? That's my message, innit? That's the problem. It never ends well, does it, man? Nah, it never, never ends well. Never. But don't you think that the violence does sell with the drill music? Is that the problem? Why it was? It does, innit? Because you know what it is? You see, when you're going out and stuff, I've done it myself, man. Like, I'm going out, I'm chilling, yeah. And then, like, I'll have someone, like, annoy me or get me my head gets hot sometimes you get me sometimes I, you get me and then it's like it's human <laughs> yeah and I think to myself okay chill cool. I want to like I want to switch but I don't want to switch you get me and as soon as I've had headphones in and I'm like let me just try to calm down innit? and then fucking I don't know something like Rendo or BT were playing that and it's like oh, I need to turn this off in it because the way I'm feeling now it's going to make me like want to you know what I'm trying to say act on them thoughts yeah, and that yeah, not yeah. literally go do something mad but <laughs> just put me in that kind of like anti-social negative mood you get me so yeah, it, do, it does actually sell with the music a lot, do you get me? Because everyone likes listening to that, do you get me? Everyone's got gangs. Most areas now have postcodes and you know what I'm trying to say? So, and everyone, because everyone's listening to people in gangs talking about this and that, they're thinking, yeah, we've we lived that life. So, it's getting it really is molding the culture yeah, so now, isn't it? It's just molding that culture. Like, yeah, like. It's getting pushed even more. And obviously, a lot of people are making money off it and stuff, in it? So, but it's one of them, innit? I hear you, I hear you. And I've got a um, question for you, honest opinion. Do you think Drill's dying at the minute? You know what? My, me personally, my opinion is, yeah, I do think it's dying still, I'm not going to lie. Because do you think everything's <laughs> been done? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, man. I feel like there's there's nothing else to do, bro. Like, everyone's been in a band, though. Everyone's sold a pack. Everyone's <laughs> smoking on homies. And everyone's <laughs> just like, you know what I'm trying to say? Everyone's in a free five and all this stuff. So there's nothing else that I can hear on Drill now that's going to be like, yo, I didn't know you could come with that on Drill. You know what I'm trying to say? Unless it's something new. positive, then yeah. I'll be surprised, you get me? So, yeah, man, I feel like it's it's kind of dying still, but you know what it is? They're switching it up a bit with like, what they do with the beats and stuff. Like, you've got these jersey tight beats that are like, I hear that. You know what I'm trying to say? You know the beats, beats and that, and that yeah, yeah, all them kind of beats. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, they're trying to revive it a bit, yeah, but at the end of the day, I don't think it's, I feel, I feel like rap's coming back, innit? You feel like, like rap's coming back? Yeah. So I was thinking the same, but I was thinking grime. I've been thinking, I reckon it's going to do full circle now. i got a feeling grime by the end of this year. Do you know what, yeah? A lot of, I'm seeing a lot of grime things happen, like a lot of grime events that I didn't used to see happen before. So I do, I do see that as well. It's I'm not slowly involved, making its way. Yeah, I'm not involved in the scene so much with grime and that. And I respect anyone that's doing grime and stuff, you get me? If you ask me for a grime verse, you might have to like wait a bit. Because like I said, I was at the best on grime in like back a day anyway, do you get me? So... To perfect yeah. your craft like, yeah but you know what I could come back now almost do the thing like I did with the Juno rap maybe come back on Grime sound a bit better I don't know you get me But I'm not so is that possibility of that being the next genre for you when um, Grime if it does die um, or what's next you know what to be honest bro, I think I think I'm just going to do more rap you know, cause more rap real yeah, rap yeah all my virgins just say they like when I rap in it like I have all my virgins you get me people in this room and that, that say yo when you rap's the best, you get what I'm trying to say. So everyone, everyone likes to the drill. They say it's cold and that in it, but they're like, oh man, rap like they just know me for the rapping in it. So if you know me for rapping and that, you'll prefer that in it. But if you just know me from like 
no doubt snakes rats no manners all them drill tunes then you probably you probably be surprised that I, I, I can rap do you know what I'm trying to say so it's one of them no, I hear you I hear you so mm -hmm. where just a quick one though as well do you have any um, like memorable stories or funny stories or something from behind the scenes that people don't know about you you could share with us <laughs> but look straight at crucial. <laughs> in, in, terms of, in terms of like, in terms of like musical or just in general, just in general, something funny. You know, we saw it. <laughs> if you can see the daggers, man. <laughs> so yeah, so funny, so insane, but something that the people don't know. So you know what I mean. <laughs> mm. oh. Don't incriminate yourself. <laughs> We'll talk about Wales one Tell them why you went jail, fam. <laughs> you know what, yeah? Cool, yeah, I'll tell you that story then still. <clears throat> but that's not like a funny story, though, is it? That's not funny, though, is, is it? Is it not? Now, no, no, right, no, no, we can still share it. Yeah, so, it, it? What's the reason you went jail? Share with us, man. <laughs> Obviously, now, <clears throat> I, had a little, um, I had a little phone habit back when I was younger, innit? I used to chill with one of my friends, innit? And then he got me onto a phone habit. A phone habit, what people don't know is, yeah, where it's scummy behaviour as well, innit? Where you get like, I was young as well, innit? So where you got a thing for like, just like, you know the thing when you jump on a bus and you're just like, you're just taking phones and stuff, innit? So like, I had a thing for doing that, innit? When I was younger, innit? Me and my brother used to go around just taking bare phones and that, you get me, we was young and that, innit? And obviously now, when we got older now, these times I'm 18 now, innit? So obviously it's not phones now, we're just like, just rubbing in general and that. And then obviously now, we must have went to um, some area that we thought was a bit quiet and stuff. And then uh, my bedroom was doing a mad thing. So obviously pockets were getting searched and stuff. Nothing was there and I was thinking, come let's go. I walked around the corner now and I'm like, oh, please, man, what you do? All this madness and I'm thinking, yo, what the heck? In my, in my head, I'm thinking, yo, I even took anything, you get me? So yeah. I'm thinking, oh, here we go, it's long. But we've been doing these things for ages, you get me, for a couple of weeks. So I think it was either like monitored or just like time was All up, the complaints start adding up and yeah. descriptions start matching. And yeah, then... man. And then I ended up in the station and I was charged and that by obviously armed police and that. And obviously in the interviews, I was just reading it out and that, like obviously he was told by this dude that you're searching his pockets and stuff like that. And I was like, huh? But the, I'm thinking to myself, how? Because he searched his pockets and there's no fucking phone. So how's he around police? You get me? <laughs> I, I don't even know how he did that in it. So he must have had it. Like, I don't know if this dude used to get in G-checks and he had it in his sock or whatever, but yeah, that's, that's what sad. happened in it. And then, yeah, I got remanded and I went in jail and bye bye arms for them. So the last time, basically, you got bagged. Yeah, that was for something stupid. For like, now, nah, but basically, for no phone. Yeah, bro, for no phone, yeah. <laughs> you got to say, bro, yeah, bro, and then, yeah. But obviously, at the time, okay, then cool. At the time, yeah, I had something in my possession, in it. Because the reason why I'm please come was because obviously I had a gas gun on me, in it. Oh, okay. But to say that, bit, I'm trying to make myself sound like it's just a little, yeah, I had that on me. That's why the army yeah, yeah. didn't come out and that, you get me. But yeah. But yeah, that, that was on a funny story. What did they say when they seen it? Or did they see it? He was just like, he was like, have you got anything on you? And I said, nah. Then he was like, what's this? What is this? And I saw it hit me or something and put me on the <laughs> Yeah, bro, you get me? And it, was just, it was just all mad and that, innit? And yeah, it was just all silly, man. I wasn't happy about it at all, man. It was just meant to be like a, see me, bro. My day routine was just to grab something, go somewhere, market, sell it. That's what we were doing, bro, innit? Yeah, yeah. Go, go somewhere, sell it, and then just go back home, you get me? Probably have a big John's or something, innit? But that didn't happen, innit? So... Didn't go home that day. Nah, bro, I went. I went jail, fam. The next morning, fam. You know what? You know what? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Right, cool. Then you wanna know? You wanna know a story that's funny, but it's still not funny. Cool. Then this is the part that Chapel thinks is funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Right, Just so, open up, man. Right, you know, cool, tell then. him, tell him. Right, cool. When I got lucky, yeah, I was, I was in, um, I was in the uh, court cells and that in it. I'm with this geezer and that in it. Obviously, he's come back now and he's gone. Ah. Oh, so like, yeah, they sent me down and that in it. I'm thinking, yo, Pete, fam, hold it, fam, hold it down, geez. Like, yeah, yeah. So I've walked out now in it. And then I was like, well, I stood up, said my name, where, where, where. And then they said, ah, uh, because I'm not really, I'm not used to this kind of stuff in it. And they said, ah, uh, no, Bell, remanded in custody, on, shh, like that in it. So obviously I've gone back now in it. And then the geez, what's happened to you in it? I said, I'm getting out in a bit. And he goes, what do you mean? I was like, I'm going in a bit still, where, where, where. And he goes, oh, what did they say to you? He goes, so how can you back in the cell? And I'm saying, they're going to let me out in a bit. They're randomly in custody and that, innit? I was remanded you. I go, yeah, I didn't get sentenced to nothing. So I'm, I'm laughing in it. I said, I didn't get sentenced. Well, I bet you was heartbroken. Oh, he goes, you know what remanded means? I go, no, he goes, remanded means basically you got to go to jail until your fucking court date and that. And I was like, what? So then I'm Sad. pressing the buzzer and that, innit? I'm saying, yo. Did someone going, lied? Yeah. Just had to sign up for this. Jail? They're like, yeah, I'm going on the circle van. This idiot was my cellmate as well and everything. The, the, the guy in the court cell, you get me, you end up being my cell, everything. You get me, came into the cell and that he goes, yeah. 
Well, you didn't think you'd be here with me, innit? I was like, yo, <laughs> I was pissed. I didn't know what remanded meant, fam. You get me? And since then, fam, I just thought, you know, I started reading properly and like taking stuff in and reading solicitor letters and knowing what words mean and that. You get me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, Learn, thought, learning the jargon and like, educating yeah, yourself on what's I going thought, on. I thought I was sick, bro. I thought I knew everything, bro. I thought, if you go in a court and you get 10 sentences to do that, that's it. That's why I thought I was naive. And I didn't know you could get remanded and other stuff. And well, it's because they said no bail. Do you reckon that's just like tricked your yeah, mind kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, yeah, you're thinking, yeah, I'm just thinking, no bail, but cool, no jail. So, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, so I'm thinking, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's you get kind of, basically. But, <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't, I wasn't the smartest back then, you get me. Probably not, still not. What did you think though when they was walking you back to your sound? Did you think like, oh, they're going to let me out in a second? Just like, yeah, I was literally going there. Like, I did find it was a bit weird that I'm going back to like the same court cell and that. But I thought maybe this is just normal and that. And then when I spoke to the geezer and that, and he was looked at me, he was like, oh, I feel sorry for you, man. I was like, why? Don't feel sorry for me, son. I'm gone, bro. I was like, why? What did they say? You're remanded, G. I'm good. He's like, remanded. He's like, you're, you're, you're doing the same thing as me, but you're going to jail. And I was like, yeah, 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 Sad. you're going Brinny, circle, fan. And I was like, all right, cool then. Sad. Not cool, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you get me. You have to my hold head, it, thinking, yeah. But I'm pissed, bro. I'm angry, bro. My bridge, the, the geezer, not my bridge, and the geezer's like, He's like, yo, you're pissed. I'm like, no, it's mine, man. Just it. hold it, in it, Like, yeah, show no weakness, like, kind yeah, of thing. I was, I was angry, fam. How long was you there? How long did you get sentenced? Um, you know what, yeah? Oh, this is where it gets, this is where it gets all tech, in that. The first time I went to jail, done. first time I went to jail was for a couple of months, in it. And I got bail, in it. Because it was my first time in jail, in it. So I applied for um, something called Judge Chambers, something. So I got the bail, in it. So um, I come out on tag. Because um, I was on tag, I was obviously, I was living at my mum's house. Obviously, me and my mum wasn't really seen eye to eye in it because obviously I was a, still a bit of a like prick. Yeah, okay. was a bit of a bad you still acting like a dickhead and that. So, yeah, and I kept coming home late and stuff. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And then there was one time where I didn't come home late, but I left it like five minutes in it. And obviously, my mum, she was a proper like, she was a worried woman in it, bless her in it. So, she couldn't It's say normal it. for yeah. mums. So, we kind of like argued and stuff in it. And then I ended up going um, going to my bedrooms in Erdington in it. I ended up going to my bedrooms in Erdington in it. And then ringing the police and saying, kind of, um, in the next day and changed my tag to my um my cousins in Ernington and I was like you have to come and speak to us in it but obviously my cousin at the time he, obviously he, he was the reason why like we like we was there on the same offence in it so obviously because he was like an accomplice as they say and all that stuff they wouldn't let me have my tag there in it so then they said nah so they sent me put me back in jail in it because I know where I was to go in it so then sad yeah so then I done that and then um when I went to court and that I basically I was on remand for a good couple of months and I went, I went court. The judge gave me my sentence. He was a dickhead store. He gave me my sentence, yeah, and I literally done basically my time. I had one day like left on my sentence, innit? Yeah, yeah. So, so he literally put me in Parba for a day. I Even see. though I was in Brinian, I was comfortable and everything. Went there for a day, innit? So induction wing did it, just for a day. It was a pointless trip. Yeah, because I was in Wolves, I was chilling, fam. I was yeah. in Wolves, I could have got released the next day. Close to so, home. Oh, bro, you get me? Yeah, I'm yeah. Leicester for a day, fam. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So yeah, that pissed me off, innit? I could so, imagine. Yeah. So you've not been in trouble since? Is that was the last? Nah, I breached probation in it. I was so, uh, arguing with my probation officer in it, and I think I called it. I said, I said the word bitch or something, in it, and they don't like that kind of stuff in it. And then it's petty in it. Yeah, petty I got a recording it. The first time I got a record in it, but I thought it was gonna be a twenty-eight day thing. Cause bear man, I like back then twenty-eight day thing was like a thing in it. And I'm getting gas thinking, yo, twenty-eight days. That's minor, bro. I probably see my bedroom for a bit. It was chill, and now uh, I did the full three months and that in it. So it was all along in it. That's how much how long I left on my um, license, whatever they call it. So I just went back and did that in it. So yeah, man. Just anything in it to waste your time and that yeah. kind of thing. But, but since then, no, ain't been behind no, behind the door like that. Did you use it to motivate you for like I'm yeah. saying music and that? Did you push you? Think, yeah, nah, do you want more to life in it? Fuck this, like let's go. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Because obviously when you're in jail and that, there's like you meet a lot of man. You get me, there's bare people. Like you get me, like rappers and stuff and like just like random people and stuff. You know what I mean? So I can mm. imagine. I can imagine. They were different stories all the time and just like yeah. relating to all different people from different walks of life. Yeah, meeting people from school and you know, like like your reception and stuff and you're looking at them like, yo, then you went to school like yo I you get me like just stories and stuff, you get me. That's so, yeah. But that was like a young offenders institution, it's a Y O Y in it, they call it it's like eighteen to twenty one in it, so it's just bare like Sounds like a bare reunion eagles. man. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a, a little reunion or yeah, something, man. <laughs> yeah. Just bare eagles and that you get me. So That's the problem, it's like yeah, school yeah. but it's, more fights. Yeah, it's that age in it, eight to twenty one, it's just bare eagles or under one roof and that you get me. So you can imagine in it. So, yeah. so uh, moving on though, yeah. Uh can you tell us about any experiences that you've had to deal with, like like challenges like pushing your music and obviously getting noticed and getting heard? Do you know what? You know what I'd say, yeah, yeah. There's a couple still. Do you know what it is? I think the main thing is, the main thing is the industry. And when I say the industry, I don't mean like everyone. I just mean like you see the people that say like pages that support certain things. Like there might be a 
a page on GRM and they've got like a little page that supports GRM but then if you message them and stuff they might not exactly like message you back or take it in and stuff you get me I feel like you really have to be proper like up there or out there to be like taken in and stuff like not a lot of people are going to just fuck with you randomly you like the I mean? game's rigged or something <laughs> like I don't, I don't know man because I, I do like to believe like you can actually do it if you're doing it properly and like natural talent can like you know what I mean like, as an independent that. artist no yeah. label pushing yourself yeah do you know what I'm trying to say but you know what I do you know what is? I see a lot of people around here as well do you get me so it's like like I see obviously general doing his things and that do you get me course, he's doing course. a lot of things a lot of collabs getting on like channels and stuff like that so when I see stuff like that as well I think to myself you know what he's in man's area it's local do you know what I'm trying to say so cool there's people out there willing to like come around here and see these kind of people and do tunes with so and so and do you know what I'm trying to say because so, yeah. you always think it's always Birmingham and Manny and Liverpool, London, do you know what I'm trying to say? Tell a small course. area and that, you get me? Well, it's a growing town though, isn't it? So is yeah. that your plan? Do you think like time to grow with the town, basically? Yeah, basically, like, yeah. That's the plan. Like that. Yeah, it's basically one of them, bro. So just a quick one, yeah. Do you have any advice, do you have any advice on that, yeah, for an up-and-coming rapper doing his thing? A young up-and-coming rapper? Um, yeah, man. My advice I'd give to like any up-and-coming rapper, whether you're doing drill or rap, is basically just be yourself, in it, Like, do what you want to do in it. Don't like, like say if you listen to Fredo and Nines and all them kind of people calling cool, it, but don't let all your bars be about trapping or what them man do or what certain your favorite rapper does. Do you know what I mean? Try and have like your own kind of like what you want to do. Your like, own character. About, yeah, have your own character. Spit about what you want to do. Rap about like, bro, if all you do is go home, help your mum with groceries and do a nine to five, bro. Rap about that if you want to, bro. You get me? You don't need to talk about laying your man down and doing all this and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's one of them, innit? So I just tell people, just keep it real, be yourself. And yeah, if you're genuinely going through it, yeah, and you genuinely are that kind of person that's like beef and you're out here and you're catching wars and stuff, bro, rap about it, I get it, because that's your story, do you get me? You're allowed to rap about it, you know what I mean? It's just how you do it, as long as you don't like, what's it called, is it incriminate yourself and all that and get yourself locked up and stuff, just know what you're doing with it, innit? But that's not me saying, yo, push it out there to the youths and that. If you want to tell your story personally, that's cool. As long as you're saying like, me and I and back when I, all that kind of stuff, you get me, but yeah man because a lot of these rappers like to draw you out you get me they'll tell you <laughs> if you ain't got 20 bags yet then you need to do this or if you ain't got this or that yet then so there's no point in doing this and if you're trapped by it you know what I'm trying to say and it's, I don't know man just do what you want to do so what you're saying is yeah. be real and be don't real. fall for the facade yeah just rap about real stuff you get rapper whatever you want to do as long as it's not weird just rap about <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say cause, yeah of course not cause sometimes I hear some mad weird like devil stuff <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you get me I don't want to hear about no Holes and all mad stuff in here, and like demonic stuff. crazy, like yeah, 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 yeah. talk like all that mad stuff, like bondage and all that stuff. Yeah. If you do, then cool, man. Just don't send it to my to my DMs, in it. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no, you don't. But you know what I'm trying to say, though, in it. Like hundred percent, hundred percent. The message requests can get a weird place. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've, let's not even talk about message requests, man. Message you got a funny story from your message requests. My message requests are just, you know what, bro. I swear, bro. If I even talk about it, bro, I feel like my body would just shut down, bro. <laughs> it's, just, it's just bad, bro. It's bad. It's the thing is, though, everyone knows never can relate in it, so you probably mm. don't even have to go into it. Like people just like. <laughs> now I get people. I get like I've had one user message me here, yeah, and it's like, "Yo, G, um, it's like, can I come to your music video or something?" I don't even know this guy. I said to him, uh, "Where, where are you from?" He goes, "Manny." I said, "It might be a bit too far for you." And he goes, "Okay." Then he sent me a picture. He's like that, and he said, "Can you rate it?" And I said. Uh, I said, you look cool, G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that, and then he put, put what's it called? And he said something, he said something weird, man, like off topic and that, and it like, can I send you another picture? But with some, like, some weird emoji and that, and it. And I was like, well, what are you on about? And then he was just like, he's just talking, like, bare weird stuff and that, you get me? And Too I said much to him, fruity business yeah, going yeah. on, but they try to lead you in. Yeah, it's a fruit loop, bro. And this kid, bro, like, he's wearing ballets and stuff, and then in his bio, he's got like a gang and stuff in it. So I'm thinking to myself, yo, that's scary, man. Like, them man, them man don't even block. know what he's on. <laughs> yeah, 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 block. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like, yo, you're shouting me, man, just chatting to me. You don't even know me, like, you get what I'm trying to say? But I just told her, I said, allow it, bro. I said, the screenshot, I didn't make sure. I said, anymore, bro. I just have to send it out. Just there, report it, it. Yeah. <laughs> for your own safety. He, said, he, said, he told me, he said, F off. He said, F you and block me. He got, he got there first, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, bro, you know what I mean? Trying to get his point across of that. But, but yeah, hey, man. Can you share with us any up and coming collabs or up and coming features or what's new, what's in the pipeline, man? What, what can we see from you? Do you next? know what, yeah? As a lot of people know, yeah, and if you don't know, well, when you hear my music, you'll know. Innit? I've never really done a lot of um, collabs or features, but that's not because I'm anti-social either. I want to address that as well. I think it's good to get that out there as well. Because a lot of people probably think, oh, Omen just likes to do tunes by himself and do it. It's not that at all. It's a good point, actually. You don't see many features. Yeah, you know, like, that's, <laughs> not, that's you know, it's in not, your lane, though, innit? Like, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. Because I'm by myself that. so much times, yeah, and I write a tune, yeah, 
I write and because I like I go over with it. So I write so sometimes I write to a tune and I got too many bars for the tune in it. So then I gotta take some bars out of it and choose which bars I like best, you get me? So because I do that all the time, it's like I'm always like in my bag with like my own music. So you just greedy with the beat. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah, I'm really with the beat still, yeah. I am. I am. I'm not gonna lie, you get me. I tried to like shoot a court and make it sound a nice way, but basically I'm greedy with the beat, you get me, but yeah, fair play, I've been fair putting, play. I've been trying to like I'm gonna do some features and that. It's got a lot to get out there, isn't it? Yeah. So what's the next feature, man? What are you thinking? So would it be your f- wouldn't be your first feature, would it? Uh, nah, my first feature, you know what, under Ohms, um, uh, nah, nah, I got a feature with, a uh, with, uh, someone from Wolves called S-Wiz, though, that I think that was my first feature, but, um, I think my first feature's gonna be either with Trapo, okay. we've got a tune coming out, and, um, or MTO, MTO, that stands for My Team Only, that's, um, something that obviously me and Trapo are part of, it's like a music group and that, obviously my bedroom, Natty from Brom, obviously shout out Natty, He's the one that um, organised that and created that group and that, you get me? And if you ask me, bro, like, literally, if people can get at me in the comments in it, but he's literally, like, one of the coldest in Brom. That's in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, 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 I've yeah, always yeah. said that, you get me? Okay, like, get, yeah. He's literally one of the coldest in Brom, fam, you get me? Like, he's How like, long has this group been about? Like, when did it become a thing? Uh, I'd say about maybe, like, just a year and a bit still. Still yeah. working, still working? Yeah, yeah. Just and if it's been, been released under the group? You know what? There's, there's, there's so much stuff released, but it's just not out yet. Like, we've okay. Got, Loads of mixed cooking, of cooking. Yeah. I don't even know if I'm even allowed to talk, man, because I might get a call off Matty Lacey. Yeah, you get, you get me like that, but yo, stop leaking out the team. But nah, I feel, I feel like we've got, we've got a good couple of EPs out. Yeah, we've got loads of like mixtures and that, loads of different artists and stuff. So yeah, in terms so, of collabs, it's with like these, like, like my team. That I'm keeping doing. in the gang. Keep, yeah, yeah, keep, but yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do a lot of collabs with other people as well, even in Telford and stuff. You get me? Loads of artists. I've, I've shouted them. Um, seen Monroe. Me and him was talking about doing something as well. Do you get me? Monroe, for those who don't know. Used to come south reaps. Uh, talk about him doing something as well, um, and like other features as well. Do you get me? Like I want to do something eventually. With General, do you know what I mean? Other rappers. Do you get me? There's bare people that I want to like, because everyone's in different lanes in it. So see, when I'm doing music and stuff, I'm doing drill, and General's doing a lot of rapping that time. You get me? And then now I'm kind of coming on the rapping that, and then he's on like the what's the beats you called, man? That style of music, man. Like house you know, music. Like take notes, like how you get what yeah, I'm trying to say. Like the house music, myself. the house I, wave. Yeah, and I ain't got nothing like for that kind of thing. So it's like I'm just trying to get into like. You know what I'm trying to say? And then eventually, bro, I just want everyone to just link up and do that. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? I'm madness, bro, because I think it'll be sick for Telford. So you know basically, you can see a lot of artists around each other, so you're just trying to make a way for yeah. it to work, really. Yeah. You don't want to force it. Yeah. You don't want to ruin it. Yeah. But until there's a way where you can think, you can both make it work. Yeah. Gonna... I feel like everyone's in their own lane right now, and everyone's got things they need to concentrate on right now. So I feel like when it's like everyone's doing what they're doing, it comes to that point where everyone's got to get a point where they're like, you know what, fuck it, let's just do this for that. And you know what I'm trying to say? We'll all link up and do something big, you get me? So. Yeah, for summer, we yeah. open, but we just gonna keep you know everyone what? waiting. You know what? Yeah. Before summer, bro. Before summer, man. Have you got a track? Are you, well, are you dropping the track anytime soon, or what's next? Like, what, what, like? You know what? Yeah, I've got. What can a, we expect to see? I've got, a, I've got a song coming out. I don't. I'm not sure when it's coming out. I've had the video back in. Obviously, the tune's all done, and that's called. It's been a minute. It's a rap tune. Obviously, it's basically just explaining that. It's not even explaining anything, but the title's explaining that. It's been a minute since I've rapped in it because I've been doing a lot of drilling it. So that tune's gonna come out. I've got uh, I might post a little preview as well. What's so what day we on now? What, like, so probably do like on a Sunday or Thursday. Post a little preview of that. See how it goes and that, and then look for some um, is it just platforms. Ex- ex- load it. Okay. What platform are you thinking? What, do you have any in mind? I'm not too sure. You know, I'm thinking of um. You know what is? I'm thinking of P. Well, no, well, mixtape madness. But when it comes to rap and that, because press play is more for the drill scene, isn't it? Nah, of course, of course. And I feel like, yeah. Because you know what, I've never been on people know, and it's kind of like a, it's like a channel, like back in ends and that, you get me, it's like round Brum and that, you get me, so. Authentic. <laughs> yeah, it's authentic. Homegrown, and, like, yeah. Yeah, man, and from there, like, if, if it goes well off there, you know what I mean? You might even go back on there again with a little scene smash and stuff like that, and you know what I'm trying to say? Because people know passing for them little things, you know what I mean? But I feel like people know is a very good platform for rap music as well. You of get course, it? of course. So, yeah. Which channel do you think? You had the most success from? Uh, press play, you know. Press play? Yeah, 100% press play still. I've been on press play, mixtape madness, link up TV, but I'd say. That's drawn the most attraction. Yeah, press play still, yeah. Link up TV was alright as well, but I feel like when I jumped on it, I feel like it was a bit, um, what's the word? I feel like it was popping a bit more then, but then when I jumped on it, it was like, probably like dying down a bit more, do you know what I'm trying to say? Because no, not a lot of people really like tapping into it and like checking it out and that, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Next tune coming out real soon. Yeah, man. Is there anything else we can expect from Ohms? Or is there anything you want to clear up? Or is there anything you want to get out there? Last little message to the people? Or is there anything you want to say? You know what it is, yeah. <sighs> hmm. Nah, you know what? Nah, nah, nah. Do you know what it is? 
to be continued. <laughs> now, nah, you know, I ain't got anything to care for anything like that. But um, the message I'd say is, yeah, what to expect from me is unexpectable. All right, it's one of them, in it? Like, I could be here today, tomorrow I could be somewhere else, or I could be in a peak situation. You get what I'm trying to say? Sometimes I'm like, I'm just in different situations all the time, in it? So I want to be more constant with music, in it? And the reason I've been doing a lot of music is because of all the stress that I go through. Last year I had a terrible year with feds, police and that, and cases and charges and over the silliest little thing, over a little bit of weed, but it's silly. <laughs> but you know what I'm trying to say? We keep it and we move, you get me, you did it. You know what I mean? It's not going to knock me and that. But in the future, what I'd say is just look out for a lot of more music and that. And obviously if you've got me on Snapchat and Instagram and that, you just look out for a lot of silly videos and stuff and just me just being, me, me, me being myself and that, you get me. Yo, and to wrap it all up, this is Lengbo's podcast. I've been joined today by an established rapper from the Midlands, Omen, aka Ohms. Any last messages or anything you got to say, get off your chest before? Yeah, man. Um, last message I'd say is to everyone, yo, check out my, um, if you don't know my music and that, yeah, check out my own socials in it. My socials is Ohms underscore official. And my Snapchat is Ohms CGR, one word. And yeah, man, just check out my music and that, man. If you like it and that, man, just, yeah, man, drop me a message and that. Always appreciate it. Yeah, man, that's it. Run up the likes if you want a part two. Yo, respect for joining me, bro. Nice one, bro. Thanks for having me.